here's something else that my viewers have been sending me. I got a lot of emails and Facebook posts about a girl named Talia. Six years ago, Talia was diagnosed with cancer. She is 13 years old, and she is an aspiring makeup artist, and she said it was her dream to meet me. And so, of course, then it became my dream to meet her, too. So please welcome Talia. <laughs> Too, Talia, you're so amazing. I can't believe you're 13 years old. Whew. Okay, <laughs> shake it off, shake it off. This is so fantastic to meet you, and you really are a, a, an amazing makeup artist. When Thank did you, you get uh, interested in makeup? When I was first diagnosed six years ago, my mom's friend Tammy, she also is a cancer survivor. She brought me over to her house so we can like bond and talk about stuff. Right. And uh, basically, she showed me her makeup, and ever since I was like fascinated with the colors and the things, and it was just amazing. Wow, six years ago you started this. Mm -hmm. So, okay, and- I don't know. But now you have like 14 million views on YouTube. You teach people, you yeah. give them tips, and you've become very, very good at it. Thank you. Now, you know I'm a cover girl, obviously, yes. you know that. And uh, cover girl heard your story, and they want to make you an honorary cover girl. So you are now- CoverGirl wants to give you something to help. Uh... Oh All right. my God! You're an honorary CoverGirl. You going clubbing tonight like I am? Then watch this. Talia is going to show you how to create an easy breezy evening look. That's how I talk when I go clubbing. Hi, I'm Tally, and I do beauty videos on YouTube. I've already done kind of like a day look using my favorite favorite CoverGirl products, but now I'm gonna do more of a smoky, more dramatic nighttime look for you all. And I'm also gonna be featuring my favorite CoverGirl products. So I'm gonna start out with the CoverGirl Clean um, Foundation. This is in Soft Honey number 155. So I'm just gonna take that and distribute it all over my face. The reason being why I'm using the Clean from CoverGirl is because it gives a flawless finish and it lasts forever. When you're testing out your foundation, you always kind of want to go for the lighter one versus the darker one because you can always add a darker powder or even a bronzer. Also, another tip is when you're picking out your foundation, don't go by your face and don't go by your neck. Go by your arm because that you kind of want to match your arm to your face. Since we're gonna be going out or it's later on, you kinda want your makeup to really set and stay on your face. So I'm going to set it with the True Blend Minerals and I'm in the shade 415. And then you're just gonna put that in your T-zone or all over your face if you have super oily skin. Next, I'm gonna move on to the eyes. Everyone does their face in different patterns. I do my face, then my eyes, then my lips whatever you want to do. But I'm going to take these eyeshadows, they're eye enhancer eyeshadows. They're amazing. They're so highly pigmented. They will last you the whole night. Don't need a primer. And this is the one I'm going to use for my eyeshadows. This is Prom Queen number 224. The shadows give an amazing, big, bold look. So if you're going for that, that's what we're going for. But first, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. Normally, I fill in my eyebrows because they're very sparse, but if you have more full, more um, very shaped and defined eyebrows, you could totally just skip this step. So I'm going to go into this eye enhancer quad, and this is the coffee shop quad. And I'm just gonna use this dark one over here with an angled brush to fill in my brows. Something to remember about your eyebrows is the farther you take them in, the slimmer your nose will look. And then the farther you take them out, the bigger your nose will look. If you want your nose to look smaller, Put them in a little bit more, and if you want them, you want, if you have really thin nose and you want it to look bigger, make your eyebrows go out a little bit more. I'm 
I'm gonna go into the prom queen quad and I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and I'm gonna take this kind of silvery blue shadow and I'm just going to apply that to my lid. You can take it into your inner corners as well. And then I'm gonna take this, whoops, take this kind of like burgundy purple color and I'm gonna apply that into my cream. The same brush. It looks messy now, but I promise at the end it will do some blending, some more shadow. It'll look good. I'm gonna take that same color and put some underneath your lower lash line to kind of even out the look. And kind of connect it. It looks like I have a black eye. Yeah, but we're gonna change that in a little bit. Then you can take this shimmery kind of champagne color all the way in the corner. Take that and put that as your brow bone highlight. And then you're gonna take a little bit of that burgundy color and a little bit of the brow bone color. Kind of go back and forth a bit. Tap off the extra. And then you're gonna start blending it. Softly go on the edges and blend it. Then you can take a tissue and just kind of clean up or the edges so it doesn't look droopy. Then you can take another quad. You just want a darker color to add a little bit of definition. And this one is 700. And I'm going to take the angled brush that we used earlier and take the darker blue color. And I'm going to put that on my lower lash line and my upper lash line kind of as eyeliner. Taking the other brush again, you're just gonna take the off kind of black color and place it on the outer corner. I'm gonna take another kind of fluffier brush and blend the edges one more time. And what's really gonna pull this whole look together is the mascara. I'm gonna take the Kevacure Lash Blast Volume. It has an enormous brush for enormous volume. I'm gonna show you right now. Look at this big brush. Look how big that is. It's a, it's a huge, so big. I'm gonna use the waterproof one because it's nighttime. Who knows if I'm gonna cry? No. I'm just gonna use it because it might be sweating or it's just waterproof. Put this on. So at the base of your lashes and work it up. So since it's nighttime, you it's okay to be dramatic. I'm gonna add a little bit more color on my face with this beautiful, beautiful, darker kind of skin tone darkness. And I'm gonna use a blush brush or any type of smaller brush that is smaller than powder brush. I'm gonna take a little bit, tap off most of it, and then you kinda wanna put it underneath your blush where you would normally put your blush or you could do a fishy face, which is what some people do, like this. But either one. And then kind of put it on the backs of your cheeks. And what this is doing is you're adding darker colors so when you look straight, it kind of looks shaded. So your cheekbones look higher. And you can also do it on your temples right here to kind of balance everything out. So now that we have our bronzer on, you wanna use blush. And blush is just gonna give you kind of like a rosy color to your cheeks. You can do anything you want. If you just wanna use bronzer, you can just use bronzer. If you just wanna use blush, you can just use blush. I'm gonna use this blush with the same brush and put it right on top of that bronzer.
And normally, once I've done that, I take a big, a big brush and I just kind of blend it all together because sometimes I add too much and it's a hard crack a clown, so. Next, I'm going to use the Outlast Lip Color from CoverGirl, obviously. And these last up to 24 hours. They are amazing. So if you're like a teenager or an adult and you're going out, maybe you're gonna be going on a date some, you know, never know, never know. These would be amazing because they last, they're kissable, they're drinkable, not drink, but you can drink with them. And this is the color I'm gonna be using. It's 531 and it comes with a bomb because it's a stain, it'll last forever, like I said. But sometimes it could be these types of products can be a little bit drying, so you want to use a lip balm over it. You don't have to. I'm going to because I want it. And my lips are kind of dry right now, so I'm going to, you know, open it. And this is just a gorgeous pink color. Since the eyes are so much, you kind of want to tone down the lips. And if your eyes are kind of natural, it's okay to use a pop-up color on your lips. Then you can go over it with your amazing lip balm. Just a clear lip balm so you don't change the color. And you can see the shine it gives. You see that? You see it? Now that our nighttime more dramatic look is done, we're gonna go to the nails. I decided to go with a classic red color. It's just red and fontous manchu. So wherever you're going, I think red is always a great go-to color. And this one is number 185 and is and forever festive i agree for festive festive and it's so glossy you don't need a top coat you don't need a base coat amazing shine come on man so now that we are all done we got our nails we got our makeup we got everything set we are ready to go out or be dramatic mm -hmm. or be a cover girl all right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check me out on YouTube, and I will see you on YouTube or later. Bye. Hey, Cheryl Lazar for What's Trending, and I'm joined by an incredible young lady. Talia Joy Castellano, who's 12 years old, is a makeup expert on YouTube and has also been sharing her journey and fight against cancer on her YouTube channel, Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So how long have you been on YouTube and what inspired you to start uploading videos? I've been on YouTube for about a year explaining how I use makeup as my wig and seeing all the other gurus doing videos and I was like, oh my gosh, that's like kind of cool. So I just put up a video and originally I didn't get that many views and then I put up a video called Angels on YouTube and it was basically just I, this idea of doing something about like raising money on YouTube and using YouTube and stuff. And then that went viral. And then ever since then, my YouTube kind of, my popularity on YouTube kind of progressed very fast from that point. How did you become such an expert at such a young age? I guess like my mom has always, she's an esthetician. So I've always like been around girly makeup and stuff, but YouTube, definitely, like, watching other people do tutorials. My main YouTubers that I love and that I will most likely always love is Michelle Fawn and Candy Johnson. Now, tell me about when you started to share your experience going through cancer and why you wanted to upload those types of videos on YouTube and share them with the entire world. I just thought I was going to upload a video like everyone else, but then as I was going through it and everything, I was realizing that... The more I put on my makeup, the more I felt more confident with myself and I would just not go out with the wig anymore and I'd just pile on some makeup and eyelashes and just draw my eyebrows and feel so confident. And I, I was like, wouldn't it be cool if I told the rest of the world that about my cancer and what I go through and why I'm on, why I'm making this, these videos and um, cause when I first got diagnosed, I was clueless about everything. I didn't know what to expect, what to think. I didn't know anything like school, friends. And I think making a video and seeing a face to it, it would be amazing for me to see if I was just starting out again. Like another cancer survivor says that I make 
they're gay, special, or one girl said to me that she is going to lose her hair, and she watched one of my videos, and she put makeup on and went to the mall with no wig, and I was like, aw, like, I, my heart just drops each time someone tells me I'm inspiring. Where do you get this confidence and this positivity? I don't know. <laughs> I've always been, like, a bubbly, like, woohoo kind of girl, but... Um, I just think about if there's people that are just not like me, what the world would be, and it's just not fun to be not all me in life. I really, really love the way Candy Johnson just brings a smile to my face, and that's what I want to do with other people. I really want when they watch me to see that just put a smile on their face and make their day better. What message do you want people to leave with when they watch your videos? I don't know. I mean, I guess I want them to know a lot of things that whether or not you're bald or not, you can be beautiful. You don't need makeup to feel beautiful, but it's just like, I don't know. Feel better about yourself. Um, always be happy. Don't let other people... Um, tell you anything other than what you believe in and if you want to do something go for it i guess i have a lot of things that i want to say and that i want to explain to the world what is your dream job i've always wanted to be a makeup artist so a celebrity makeup artist i've always wanted to do the very theatrical makeup but i've also wanted to start an organization kind of like what i'm doing now where um just a bunch of makeup artists um would go into hospitals and do patients makeup that are going through chemotherapy treatment. How so has cool. YouTube and the community helped you get through those really tough times? I think about this all the time and I really truly think that YouTube and all the support that I get and everyone telling me that I'm inspiring and telling me not to give up, it really, really just like makes you stop and think about how many people there are that love you and that you're not there alone and it just I feel like YouTube has gotten me through what I've gone through as well and it's just it's cool it's it's inexplainable like it really is what's the number one Talia tip that we can give on this video you're never fully dressed without a smile I love it 